Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I just thought I would mention um, an energy pattern trend, uh, an incomplete energy pattern trend for the pranic tube which is the central vertical power current of our of our hologram of our bodies, our energy bodies. And, and this um, this uh, energy pattern is taking place quite a bit in the fractally uh, multiplying in the world today. And it has to do with the, uh, a couple of things, I think. Um, first, I'll explain the pattern. It goes from the top of the head, the, the solar energy goes down through the head and down as far as the solar plexus and then comes and then stops there and bounces back up into the sky, okay? And, and um, the results of this pattern are, and I'll talk about the causes in a minute, the results of this pattern are uh, that the willpower is accentuated. The third, uh, ch the third chakra, the navel point energy is accentuated. And, um, and um, the navel point is also the center of will, okay? And so uh, the willpower is greatly ratcheted up, which in a way is good, but, but there's, there's ancillary issues regarding this. Uh, the first thing is that in the mental realm, it creates uh, mental patterns regarding um, a master plan for 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 um, what do you call it for controlling the world that's kind of what you call a, a, a Gestapo master plan like feeling it ratchets up the ego quite a bit and so particularly in men I'm finding that it's creating a very strong sense of of I gotta be me and no matter how much I hurt other people it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got to be me. That thing, you know, is very ratcheted up. Whereas in the well-rounded man, that that ego is a necessary function that helps integrate all the other chakras, you know, for action in the world. Um, so master plan, um, and it creates super ego notions. Um, then as far as the lower chakras are concerned, it stops the energy flow from happening there. And so what I'm finding is physical genital mutilation and also inability to perform. And in the, gen in the genitals in both men and women who, who are, have this breathing pattern, this, this energy pattern, I'm finding diseases of the, of the genitals, okay, developing. So, so those are things to consider. And also... I'm finding that that this energy, what this does is when you just go down to your navel point and back up again with your breathing and with your visualization, with your technique, what happens is it throws the um, emotional body out onto the astral realm and, and pulls it up so that it, it um, the, the astral body actually starts right, can you see, right about the navel point and goes up until it's out of the head out of the head and up into the sky and often forward a little bit, um, leaning forward a little bit and, and liaising lia with liaison feeling towards other members of a group or uh, people in a family or like that. And what that does is when the astral form is, is partly stressed and distressed out of the body is that it puts it in danger, especially in the large cities of the demon realm, okay? Not to mention the fallen angels. I mean, everybody's working on cleaning all that up. It's work in progress, but in the meantime, it's very important to keep the astral form firmly and steadily grounded in, in the same, like, um, pattern, uh, energy pattern as a physical body and protected by, by, the, uh, by the human aura, okay? So, master plan, superego, in danger, the uh, astral body is constantly out there, uh, easy to program because it's not, not as protected as it would be if it were centered on the central vertical power current, the Sushumna. And further, diseases of the genitals and sexual dysfunction, inability to participate in the sexual act, and, uh, and actual genital mutilation. Okay? Um, so, Good thing to avoid, right? 
And um, I would say the thing to do instead is the thing that is emphasized by many Ascension teachers. That is feeling the whole energy of the pranic column from the crown up to the sky, all the way down through the entire body to the halls of Amenti in the center of the earth. Okay, and, it, and if that can't be accomplished for any reason, at least start with the top of the head and go to the, to the feet and back again in visualizing the flow of energy through the body, okay? And I think that will take care of that whole thing and smooth all those energies out and heal the genitals, which is very important. It, you know, it'll heal also the basal chakra and, the, and smooth out the energy. The, the, people are getting too orange, you know? It's too much orange in the aura from the third chakra. And um, the last thing is I'd like to, to point out a couple of um, human behaviors that are or at least one, let's see if I can think of another. Oh yeah, two. Um, the first thing is, the ascension is causing uh, body cell anxiety. That's because the body cells are changing so fast, okay? And, and when people feel anxious in their emotional bodies, there is that tendency to rise up in feeling and to, and to begin at the navel point and try and control it and to rise up in feeling like that instead of grounding to earth. To, and especially to tighten up the shoulders, and that will do it too. So it's important to do um, shoulder rolls and shoulder shrugs and like that in both directions with the rolls and, and neck rolls, right? And f neck figure eights, all that yoga stuff are right right now. So as to relax the energy down from this area, down into the rest of the body. So that's regarding anxiety. And the very last thing has to do with... Um, um, the internet and the handhelds and those kinds of things and television, uh, the electronic media are taking people into a, like a, into a, a, what do you call astral field is pulling out like this through the eyes. You know how much energy there is in the in the visual cortex, visual part of the brain right now, right? But th but these these handheld devices and these these. Um, screens that you watch like on TV and uh, on the internet they are pulling actually the the astral energy out of the body like this okay so that is further um, enhancing this process of what I would call ungrounding and dividing the body into two parts a part that we recognize from the navel point up and a part that we we uh, we just don't recognize Okay, from the navel point down. Further, there is the issue, as you all know, of, of the ongoing issue of Puritanism and in the Christian faith, and the, and the demonization of the sexual chakras, which is which is so which is involved in all this. All right. So, just to let you know, your whole body is a sacred temple of God, sacred sacred temple of the divine, and it's 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 dishonoring God Himself not to realize this, okay? It's not a bad thing to feel the sexual energy, the basal energy, to feel the earth. It's the, it's the most important thing for staying on earth and doing our work. It's, it's an honor, you know? And that is not to say that we should dwell on one area at the bottom and not on the top, you know? It's the smoothing that's the important thing right now, the smoothing of all the energies in the body. Ha! Huh. So, all right. Uh, that's it for now. I've got to go off to church, and I wish you the very best, and I hope, I hope this is helpful. I hope this is helpful for your physical health and for your emotional uh, calmness and, and just for the whole world, that the whole world should m be more centered in itself and understand the sacredness of the human body as the ascension continues. What a wonderful honor to be alive and in form on earth today. <laughs> well, God bless you. Just take what you need and <laughs> throw the rest away.